discussions with farmers and researchers have shown that to get the best yield from cassava, farmers must plant only improved varieties and apply the six steps to cassava weed management and best planting practices. The best cassava varieties are those that have the qualities that consumers, processors, and industries are looking for. Some of these qualities include early maturity, good yield, ability to be stored in the soil for long, and tolerance to major pests and diseases. Cassava processors also want varieties with high dry matter content, which determines the quantity and quality of products obtained after processing. Some of these processors are usually satisfied with varieties that have at least 30% dry matter content. The variety a farmer chooses depends on his or her objectives for planting the crop and the needs of his consumers, who could be garry processors, starch industries, flour mills, or animal feed mills. So, on this episode, we shall start a series on improved varieties that were developed by RITA scientists working closely with partners like the Next Gen Cassava Breeding Project and the National Root Crops Research Institute, NRCRI Umidike. The Nigerian government recently approved the renaming of some of these varieties for easy identification by farmers. The new names include Dixon, Farmer's Pride, Sunshine, Fine Face, and Ayaya. Peter Iluebe, the International Trials Manager of the Cassava Breeding Unit of RITA, shall take us on this journey as we start with one of the most popular varieties, TME419. My name is uh, Peter Iluebe. I work as uh, International Trials Manager in the Cassava Breeding Unit of RITA. Uh, my responsibility is to ensure that all our trials, both within and around the country, are well coordinated and are well organized. The library unit of IITA, we use our available resources to develop new varieties. In this case, what we do is that we do a kind of a hybridization, wherein we identify parents, parents with good potential, with good traits, with good qualities, to develop a, a new um, genotype of variety that is better than both of their parents. Breeding is an ongoing game. And like we expect that when you breed for new varieties, it should be better, has better qualities, better yield, reduce the time it takes for maturity. The term 419 certainly was not renamed because it has become like a household name. And when you're talking about a renaming, the committee, all the people who, who thought about that, the people that they were consulted felt it should remain the way it is. Why? It has, taken, it has become like a household name. Almost everybody has it on his, on his lips as TME419. Even those who, are never, who don't know what, what it looks like, they call and say, what I want is TME419. And why do they prefer it? The, the, well, behind me here is TME419. And if you look at the leaves, it's resistant to major pest diseases. Look at it, so clean. But this particular one is coming from pencil stems. The pencil stem is a, a multiplication, a rapid multiplication technology, which IETA is uh, uh, working on, on the basic project. And then this one came from the pencil stem, so I can rapidly multiply. This is the TME419. It was not renamed, like I said, it still keeps its name. Why do farmers like it? You generally, you find out that farmers like a red variety. A red. That will just come out, it will grow tall before it starts branching. Just like this one now. This one is about one and a half meters. And this one is about the same thing, but you just get it to branch now. That is one. Then the other thing about it is that I think the farmer believes also that it helps, it enables them because when it is an array type, they can do a kind of a mixed cropping, whereby you can plant something between, even when something is growing. But that was not actually what endeared farmers to uh, processors towards this. What made them to like it? Farmers like it very popular 
but the yield of this variety in a good environment is always very high. Not that alone, the final products from it, like for example the fufu, the gara, I remember talking to one woman in Edo State, in Ubiaja, and the woman told me that variety called for and I like it so much. Then I asked, why did you like it? She said, when you do the gari from it, the gari always is always more in, more in quantity than most of the other varieties we are planting. Then he said, not that alone, the quality of the gari is super. That is the language of the woman. And he said, when you do fufu, fufu from it, the fufu always come out very white. And, it, and it's always very good, it's always heavy. And when you prepare some fufu, it rises and swells up. So that is what the woman told me. So that was why, apart from the yield, which has a good yield, has a good result to major plant diseases, but those are the other things that they like in it. It is also like it because, as it stands today, it is still the best for starch. The starch industries like it. You know, I told you, it, it, ha it has a swelling ability. Uh, uh, starch is a function of dry matter. So it has very high dry matter. And the high dry matter that it has is what endears the factory to it. Uh, uh, no, that is, no, that is not, that is not the truth. The truth about nomenclature, generally, like I said, um, in breeding program, because I breeding program of IITA, what, what happens is that all our earlier varieties were named based on the, um, the peg numbers they found themselves in the clone evaluation. You know, you do selection from seed nursery, you have to clone evaluation, and most of those things, we try to keep them by families in time past. A family one has about maybe 20 selections, you put them together. So when you put them together and you put them in clinical evaluation, you are going to have from peg. For example, if his year is year uh, 1993, for example, you are going to have 93. Then you have the first one that will, that will be there with 001. The second will be 0002, just like that until you get to the end. But you don't know exactly what they are going to give you at the time of that clinical evaluation. Though they gave you good, good, uh, there were some good traits you found in them, in the seal nursery. We want to find out, will they carry it over? Will they come out as the best? By the time you put them in clinical evaluation, you, all of them, are, they are well labeled because you want to trace back each of them, then the number they take in the clinical evaluation will be the number they are going to take for life. That is how it also happened in the TME 419. TME is literally, is a college, is a, what we have in local gen plasm. So you have to fall on peg 419. It's not because of the seed. I used to tell people that I don't like the name 419 deceive you. This, this, in this case, this is not a 419. It just happened to be a number. That is just all. So, if a farmer chooses to plant TM419 and takes the right steps in weed management, he is assured of a profitable venture in cassava. Let us now take a look at these steps. There are six of them. Nje o fe gbin ege ki o si jere repete awon igbese mefa ti o ran olowo ni yi ati je ki ala re wa si imuse igbese kini wa ile to ba lora ti ko dagun ti ki se ile omi ile okuta tabi ile lile igbese keje ti igbo ba kun fun opolopo igi ikoriko ati awon eka igi to pe we daada to se tayo ohun ti owo je ero apako le ka Ge igbo na lule ki o se pa oko na to ba si je pe igbo na okun fun koriko ti ki ku boro bi ekan bere tabi esu akintola igi anamo to gagogoro tabi eleyi ti won pe ni ma fowo kan mi ati bebe lo ta won bu won ibaga ju nkan ti owo ja ero apako le ka lo ge won lule ki o si se suru fun bi ose meji ko fi bere si hu pada igbese keta fi ogun apako eya glyphosate fun apere round up turbo touch down 40 ni oji won bi a se ko sara ogun apako na lati gbogun ti awon koriko ti won ese hu latari ba se gbe onle tele fin odi won ogun apako glyphosate si oku ti koriko ti ki ku boro to wa lori e 
to ba ti gaju iwon ese patakun lo leyin yi se mi fun nkan bi ojo merin la gbako ki ogun apako glyphosate yo fi le pa awon koriko na ku fin fin igbese kerin pipa o ko je igbese to gbowo lori gan ni sugbon ta ba se bo sito o ma nje kere oku ege ko po re pete ta ba tu ile lona toto o ma nje ki ege o ta daada o kereju ni won tonu marun lori sare oku kan afiti ere ori tonu marun ba ju ye ta fe pa sare oku kan lo lo ye ki agbe ogbiyanju ati pa oku lona ta la kale yi ki ko ibe sori oku ma nje ki ege o ta daada ti ikore sare kan o si tobi tonu merin gbiyanju ki o ko ibe sori oku re ti ere ori tonu merin ege lori oku na ba ju ye ti a fe fi ko ibe sori oku na lo o dara ki agbe o ko ibe to ba sakiyesi pe ile na le je ile alamo tabi ta ba pinu lati kore oku na lasiko erun tabi ti awon epo ori oku na ba je ile yi to soro pa igbese kanun gbe ege tabi gba guda nigba ti ile ba tutu ni won ese bata bi meta meta sira won 1 meter by 0.8 meters tabi 0.7 meters laye yi fin ogun apako bi prime extra gold ni odi won lita merin fun sare oko kan tabi lagon ni odi won lita o le ida merin fun sare oko kan laarin wakati merin le logun leyin ta ti gbe ege tabi ba guda sinu oko e ma fin ogun apako sori ile bigbe e pa aro gba guda ti ko ba hu jade laarin ojo meedogun si ojo mokan le logun igbese kefa nigbati koriko ba ti hu to ida ogbon ninu ogorun loko re ti won ti nlewe merin si mefa lori fi ogun apako to n pa ewe fin fin lona igbalode pelu ro lowo ero ta fin fin oko tabi ona to ba rorun fun o ninu oko ti grass ba po lapoju fi ogun apako grass fusilid 40 iwon lita meta fun sare oko kan fin koriko grass ya be ewe ege nigbati ege na ba ti n pe ose mejo tabi ju be lo sugbon ti ege o ba ti to ose mejo ti grass tabi koriko ilewe mira fi hu nbe fi owo tu awon koriko na lati de na ki ogun apako kan ige ege ati ewe re ninu oko ti koriko ba wa poju fin glufosinate ammonium lifeline basta fascinate ni won ti o wa lara pa le odi won re ale fin glyphosate yen round up turbo touchdown 40 ati be be lo ni ona ti a ti la kale lara pa le ogun apako na o se pataki ewe ati fi nkan idabobo senu ero ta fi fi oko ki ogun apako ma kan ara ege na ko ma ba ba je ti ege o ba ti to ose mejo ti oko na si ku fun koriko ti we won fe daada fi owo tu awon koriko na kuro ma fi ogun apako kan si oko lodo odun tori pe eleyi le fa ki ogun apako ko ma sise mo fun alaye lekun rere I can see the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture Africa Cassava Agronomy Initiative Lori Ero 0803 9784453 Tabi 0803 0803 4430027 To watch missed episodes and other useful cassava weed management videos, go to our YouTube channel, Cassava Matters, and subscribe. And follow us on Facebook and Twitter. For questions, comments, and inquiries, please use the following contact details on your screen. We'll be glad to hear from you.